Good day and welcome to O for the Family with Evangelist Noya Antonia Eden. God is good all the time. We bless God for keeping us alive to see this special day which He has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Shouts of victory and rejoicing are here all the time in the tent of the righteous. We bless God for making us righteous. That's not through our own effort that we have become righteous with God, but God chose us before we are born. Amen. That will be his children to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that will be the redeemed of God. We have every reason to rejoice today to thank God for his faithfulness, for everything God is doing in us and through us through the working power of his Holy Spirit. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank you, my big brother and uncle, Mr. Prince Valentine. I do also love for calling in this morning. God bless you and your family. Glory be to God. God bless your ministry and the work of your hands. It is well with you. We are united in one spirit in Christ, and God will never fail us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning, I bring all of you greetings. I bring peace to you. As I have received from God, so do I bring to you. I bring hope to you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We do pass through challenges in life, but we must keep hope alive. Amen. In all of our situations, we must know that God is with us. We must be aware of the abiding presence of God in all of our situations. Amen. Um, wherever we are, we are living sanctuary unto our God. Yes, we can have fellowship, we can have worship, we can have praise and pray to God from our homes, amen, from within our churches. Even we are traveling from your cars, your cars can be, it's your cars from these central areas where you pray to God, where you lift up the name of God. That's the time most of us have quiet moments where we are driving to work without our family. You can just concentrate and just lift up praises and prayer to God. Know that God is always with us, that wherever we are, God will answer us. Glory be to God. This morning we want to read from Psalm 20. We want to receive the blessings of God from Psalm 20 today. May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your bond offerings. May God remember the sacrifices of Jesus Christ on our behalf today. It's through that blood of Jesus Christ that we have been redeemed into God's kingdom. It's through that blood of Jesus Christ that our, our sins have been cleansed away, totally washed away. It's through that blood of Jesus Christ that we can come into the most holy place today to enjoy fellowship with the Father, the Son, and with the Holy Spirit. It's that blood of Jesus Christ that has given us everything, all the spiritual gifts that God has flooded us with today. Amen. We do not lack anything, anything good. Amen. We can go out to represent God in the name of Jesus Christ. God has given us that name. Amen. So the sacrifice that God will accept for us and generations to come, even generations past, is the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. He died for us all. It's a perfect sacrifice. The blood of Jesus Christ is still speaking on our behalf. That's the confidence we have as the children of God to approach him. The confidence to stand on the foundation that God has laid for us. The confidence to know that the kingdom of hell shall not prevail against the kingdom of God here on earth. In Jesus Christ, we are victorious over darkness, principalities, dominion, reigns of an authority of evil, of wickedness. Jesus Christ has given us total victory. In him, we are rejoicing today. Glory be to God. Amen. That may he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. When we commit everything about us, our plans to God, we know that we will succeed. Amen. That he has given us total victory over any indirect spirit, anything that we attempt to stand against the will of God in our lives. Glory be to God. Amen. We will shout for joy when you are victorious. We are going to hear that rejoicing and victorious shouts in our homes, in our communities, in our government, in the body of Christ, because we will be victorious. It's the plan for, of God for us to be victorious. He has a good plan for us. Amen. That we will shout for joy when you are victorious, and we lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the God grant all your requests, or your requests. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed, faithful God, he says he's anointed. 
we have been anointed by God. Every day he anoints our heads with oil, our cups overflow. If we cannot, we, can, we have to remind ourselves of, of, of what God has done for us by reading Psalm 23. Every single day, God anoints our heads with oil, our cups are overflowing. With, his, with, with, with joy, amen, with everything good, fruitfulness, good health, long life, amen, prosperity, everything that God has promised us, they are all over, overflowing, the peace of God, amen. That may, may the Lord grant all your requests. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed, he answers him from his holy heaven. With the seven power of his right hand, the heavens above are not too far away from God to behold, to see what is happening to us here on earth. He sees us. He understands our situations. He comes down to our level to lift us up, to help us. He sends us his word to deliver us, to break chains, anything that enemies are tending to bring against us. God is not, is not unmindful of us. The angels do not understand why he loves us the way he does. So what is man that you love him so much? Mortal man that you care for him? What is man? You created him to be a little lower than the angels, but yet... You place him in such a prestigious uh, position that even the angels minister to man. What is in this man? Amen. God knows why he created us. That reason we never change. But it, he has given us the promise that nothing can separate us from his love. He truly loves us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That with the seven power of his right hand, that's how he delivers us. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall. But we rise up and stand firm. Why? Because God is there to help us. God has broken every snare. God has lifted us above our enemies. The foundation of this earth cannot be shaken. That's why the fact that God founded this earth upon the deep waters of the ocean. Underneath this earth that we are standing today is water. But the foundation of the earth cannot be shaken. We are standing on the foundation that God has laid for us. Amen. Our homes or houses are built by God. Devastation cannot come to our dwelling places because God has placed everything in order to help us. He has separated everything. He has placed us in our rightful positions. Amen. During creation, God separated things and placed things in their, in their position where they are supposed to be. Every day, God is separating things. Bringing his children to, to him, revealing his, himself to his children. Amen. And separating those that belong to the, the, to the tabernacle or the tent of the wicked. Amen. Because they cannot be gathered with God's children. Amen. This earth cannot be shaken. It is founded on the waters of the ocean. The voice of God is mightier than that water of the ocean. Yeah. The voice of God has stilled the elements because of us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. That they are brought to their knees. Amen. The wicked. Anyone that will attempt to come against the will of God. Anyone that lifted their voice against God, they are brought to their knees. They must bow down under the authority of that name that God has given to us, the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. They must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That's the desire of God for all of humanity, everything He created. They are brought to their knees. But we rise up and stand firm. Oh Lord, save the King. Answer us when we call. Glory be to God. We pray for the kingdoms of the world that all the kings we and queens, wherever we have queens in the world, we acknowledge God. Amen. That God is truly the God of the nations and all the kingdoms. That Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Glory be to God. We are praying for our kings, the salvation of their souls, that they we accept the word of God. Glory be to God. We thank God for his faithfulness. He is God. He never fail. We bless him for what, everything he has given to us. Glory be to God. This morning also, we want to read from the book of Mark. We continue to study on the book of Genesis tomorrow from the book of Mark. We want to remind ourselves with some of the teachings of Jesus Christ. Amen. Concerning the church of Christ, of, 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 because concerning his church here on earth. Glory be to God. So I'm starting from the book of Mark, chapter 11, beginning from verse... I will start from, from verse 8. Glory be to God. That was the triumphant entry when Jesus Christ was going into Jerusalem. I did not start from the beginning. This is uh, uh, I will start from verse eight. Many people spread their clocks, clocks on the on the road. The clocks on the road. Why others spread branch, branches? They had caught in their fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, "Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed be." 
Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David, Hosanna in the highest. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went to the temple. As soon as he entered Jerusalem, he went to the temple. Amen. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the to Bethany with the twelve. So he went to the temple, look temple, look around, take a very careful and deep look at everything in the temple. But it was too late for him to do anything at that time. Then he, he went to Bethany glory, with the twelve disciples. Glory be to God. Jesus cleansed the temple. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves because it was not the season for things. Then he said to the tree, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard him say it. Something was clearly brought out from this passage that Jesus went to the fig tree but it was not a season for things. Amen. It was not a season for that tree to bring forth its fruit. Amen. Jesus knew that. But however, since Jesus, Jesus Christ was hungry, he did not see food, uh, thing to throw on the tree to pluck to eat. He caused that tree. Amen. It's not just because it was not a season for things. Jesus Christ could call out miracles. He had, he had performed so many miracles. If he wanted to eat fig tree, he could command fig tree, uh, the fruit to come. I mean, if he wanted to eat the fig, the, the fruit, he could, he could command the, the thing to come out of the, uh, of the tree. But there was something spiritual about that tree. Amen. Which made Jesus Christ to cause that tree. There was something very spiritual. We see that that thing tree wasn't too far from the temple. Amen. And as we're going to read, we see that the barrenness of, of that fig tree also was the same situation that Jesus Christ would find in the temple. Amen. Things were happening in the temp temple contrary to the will of God. So it's causing that tree. It was not just because there was no fruit. He could call fruit. It could call out his, uh, 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 the fruit from the tree. But there was something spiritual about that tree. Which, and the tree was cursed. Amen. That it should never bear fruit again. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. We continue that reading. But no one, no one that Jesus Christ calls the tree, may no one ever eat fr uh, fruit from you again. And his disciples heard, what, heard him say it. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple area and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. In the house of God, people were buying and selling. Jesus Christ went in and started driving people out. Today is still happening. Buying and selling within the house of God. First prophets and teachers after their bellies. Members of the congregation become to church not because of the salvation of their souls or their spiritual enrichment or to help the kingdom of God because they have wares in their bags since they are selling. They are looking for customers. That's the uppermost thought in their hearts. How can I have more customers from this congregation? But not really a place of worship, a place to come to say, Father, I need your help. I want to grow spiritually. I want you to use me. I want to do your will here. The first thing, as soon as they meet somebody, oh, wait, I have this, I have that. Is that what we do within the house of God? Buying and selling? It's not just about the first prophets and teachers, about us too, members of the congregation. It's not about um, spiritual fathers and mothers selling their items to their congregation and taking advantage of the children of God. Selling, and people are buying because, oh, it's from my spiritual father or my spiritual mother. I cannot say no, I have to buy it. People are selling, sem using the word of God, sem uh, seminars, selling, selling to people within the house of God. Not, not saying that allowing the church to give an offering, but imposing fee before you, you teach people the word of God. We need to examine ourselves. We are buying and selling, and, uh, we, are, uh, we have allowed buying and selling to come into the house of God. You can see a lot of people are going back to the churches they left to go to the new to the uh, Protestant or Pentecostal churches because you see things that you just ask them, what is happening? Okay, I was brought, as a, brought up as a Roman Catholic. I, at least I see the good work of the Roman Catholic Church in my community or abroad around the world. Or you were brought up as an Anglican or a Methodist. You can, you can say this is what they are doing around the world and everything. There's order. We don't, we don't want um, to be in, the, in, a, in an atmosphere where there's indiscipline. Everybody buying and selling. No proper order. You don't even understand what is happening. That will discourage the children of God. 
we need to examine ourselves wherever we find ourselves in. What are we doing within the house of God? What's our purpose there? Are we there to build the kingdom, to enrich ourselves, to enrich other people spiritually, to work with our spiritual fathers and mothers, to lift up the, the kingdom work, or we are just there to sell and take advantage? Social connections, the things that we think will help us. Amen. Yes, we can all, all, all of that along with our salvation package as Christian children of God that we have enjoyed fellowship with, children, with, with, with members of our congregation. But there, it's more than that. It's more than that. What's the expected of us is more than that between the house of God. Let us pray that God will continue to help us. Amen. Is the house of God a house of prayer or is it a place of buying and selling? Amen. Just buying and selling. We need to ask ourselves. Amen. Now, now on reaching Jerusalem, he entered the temple area and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling those and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. People are carrying merchandise into the church today. Freely! Bringing things to sell. Insurance. Different things into the church to sell. And the doors are opened. We allow it to take place. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And as he taught them, he said, it is, is it not written? Is it not written? My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. The first job of the uh, assignment of the church is to be a house of prayer. It is written, a house of prayer for all nations. That people can come. The doors are open at any time. People come and receive prayer, receive deliverance, receive help. The church pray for the sick, for the discouraged, for people passing through various situations. Pray for the government, pray for the kingdom, pray for those in the mission field, those that have gone ahead of us. So much to pray about. To pray against the kingdom of darkness attempts to come against the kingdom of God. To pray that the will of God be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Pray for our children, our institutions, our schools. Pray against those coming into our, into our communities with drugs, with different things and causing confusion. Lift up our law enforcement. Our borders and uh, everyone before the judiciary before before the throne of grace, there's work to be done. That the house of God, as it not, is it not written, my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. But you have made it a den of promise. We are going against the word of God. We, we, all of us, selling, buying, allowing things to come in that should not come into the house of God. We have made it a den of robbers for all nations. The chief priests and the teachers of the law heard this and began looking for a way to kill him because they did not want to hear the truth. Today is still the same thing. If you dare to say the truth, your people will come against you, even within your own congregation. They will look at you. Who does this person think you are? If you are speaking as the oracle of God, who is, who, who, whose business is it? Why would you bother yourself about what anyone thinks about you? Just do that which God says you should do. Speak the truth. The receipt or not, the truth will judge all of us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The truth will judge us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You go to local assemblies where people do not even celebrate the sacraments. Months running into months. No communion given to the congregation. And yet, they are shouting about offerings, 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 tithes and everything. What about communion? What about baptism? What is happening to the sacraments? Everything is important. And there are a lot of people who came out from... Those back, Robert Catholic and other backgrounds and everything that are used to receiving communion at every celebration of service or, or at, at the mass, every time the mass is celebrated, they receive only communion. And now you are in a place there's no order, people, no communion, nothing. You are wondering what is happening here. What is happening here? We need to examine ourselves. Is the house of God a house of prayer? Are things being done there? Amen. To enrich us spiritually. We are not just gathering together because we want to make friends or because of the social net social networking. That's not what we need. It's our spiritual growth, amen, for the salvation of our souls, that we may grow up and attain under spiritual maturity. We don't want to be anywhere where there's disorder, disorderly conduct, where you don't see any, you, you, you are wondering what is happening. Who, who, is, who is supposed to do this? Who is supposed to do that? And yet, assignment have been given to people. No one is doing what they are supposed to do. And that's why the burden or, 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 or the stress of leadership is upon the shoulders of the pastors. Amen. Because you do not understand clearly what is happening. But we have to return back to the house of God. Amen.
to the house of God, a house of prayer, a house that celebrates all the sacraments and all the ordinances of God, every word that God has spoken concerning his church must be done. Why allow your congregation to go on fast? Beginning of the fast, there was no communion. End of the fast, no communion. Amen. I, people are waiting that when will this be done? When will this be done? You go to other uh, churches to receive communion. And whereas your tithes and everything, you're paying it in some your else. We need to examine ourselves. We need to examine our, ourselves and ask God to help us, to redirect us back to the word, the word of God. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. That the chief priests, they were looking for a way to kill him because he told them the truth. And began looking for a way, they, be, uh, they, be, they heard it and they began looking for a way to kill him. For they feared him. Because the whole crowd was amazed at his teaching. When evening came, they went out of the city. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. I will stop here again. Let me just read about the weed, the weeded fig tree. In the morning, as they were uh, as they went along, they saw the fig tree weeded from 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 the roots. Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the fig tree. You cause as we did. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Have faith in God. When you have faith in God and you speak with faith, your word will be life and spirit. Jesus spoke and caused that thing tree and it will. He said, Have faith. Have faith in God. Amen. I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, the word coming out from our mouth, when we have faith in God, that if anyone says to this mountain, go. Throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. So we must have faith, knowing that the words we are saying are not just careless utterances that have no spiritual value, but they are actually life and spirit that we accomplish the purpose of which we are setting them forth. If we have faith, most of what we say we happen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, especially if it is the will of God. It will happen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If we separate ourselves from the will of God and we say, careless words, whatever we say, we receive it. However, amen. So let us only speak things that will help us, that will bring us richer struggles, that will make the will of God to be done in our lives and communities. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we can say to that mountain, to, that the mountain should move and be thrown into the sea and does not doubt in its heart, but believes that what it says we have is to be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. And where you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Glory be to God. Uh, we have three prayer points this morning. The first one, we are going to pray that the house of God will continue to be a house of prayer, not a den of robbers. We are going to pray against anything symbolizing the spirit of the world. Anything bringing barrenness, disorderly conduct into the house of God, buying and selling, to be overturned by the power of the living God. Then we are going to pray that God will increase our faith and belief in God so that we can alter ways that we help us and our communities. That the Spirit of God will direct every word coming out from our mouth. And when we pray, we must believe that God has heard us. Glory be to God, and it will be so. Our Father in heaven, we give you thanks. We bless you that we can come before your presence this day. To lift up our hands to praise you this morning for being our God and helper, for being the glory and the lift up of our heads. God who has given us salvation in your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You do not send your son to this world to condemn us, but through him that we may be saved and be reconciled back to you. We thank you for the salvation of our souls, for everything we have in him. We bless you, Father Lord, that through him, Father Lord, that we are your children. Those representing you in this world, your light in this world, the salt of this world. We thank you that in his name we can do the impossible. Today, as we have come before you, Jehovah God, we lift up your church before you, you this day. We pray that the Church of Christ here on earth will continue to be a house of prayer for all nations and not a den of robbers. Father, Lord, we pray that you are letting our spiritual eyes and understanding to see their buying and selling the tradition of the world that's been brought into the house of God. We are anything symbolizing barrenness. Waste, O Lord God, 
The spirit of the world has come into the house of God. Help us, Father Lord, to pull down the spiritual strongholds by your mighty power. That your house will come to be a house of prayer and not a den of robbers. A house to overturn the tables of money changes. To trouble upon false prophets and teachers. Anything being done in your hands, not of your will, that they will not stand in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Jehovah God, for empowering us to represent you in this world, for giving us the help we need in Jesus Christ, inner strength to prevail in every situation. Father, we have come to you today. We are praying also, Jehovah God, that you help us increase our faith, O Lord God, and believe in you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All that the words coming out from our mouths, O Lord God, to know that the words we speak, O Lord God, as light, light and spirit, O Lord God, that the words we speak, we accomplish the purpose of which we send them forth. Call that the words coming out from our mouth to speak life, to speak spirit, to speak awareness, wholeness into our situation, prosperity, fruitfulness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, abundance, good health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, miracles of healing in the name of Jesus Christ, that every mountain, everything that brings barrenness, sorrow, that brings affliction, oh Lord God, we will be moved, all those mountains move and cast into the sea in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, for empowering us, oh Lord God, to do mighty works through the name of Jesus. We thank you, Jehovah God, that we continue, oh Lord God, to be praying out it's up to you. We are about to find ourselves in our homes, in our communities, in the body of Christ, and our jobs, oh Lord God. Father, that we always look up to you in Jesus' mighty name. We know you will now have fellows that are God and helper. So today, we command every situation, bringing sorrow, bringing death, fear of death, death, Father Lord, bringing poverty, lack, O oh Lord God, bringing sicknesses, infirmities, diseases upon your children, O oh Lord God, bringing, Father Lord, anything that makes your children to weep, to cry, and to be tied down in chains of the enemy. Let those mountains, O oh Lord God, move. Those situations be overturned by the power of the living God. That your children will be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That your children will be filled, O oh Lord God, with your spirit, O oh Lord God. That your children will receive the help from heaven today. Our God who helps us. We bless you, Father Lord, for sending forth help. We thank you, our high priest, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, interceding on our behalf in the heavens today. We bless you, Father Lord, and lift up prayer on our behalf today, that the blood of Jesus Christ is speaking for us today. That blood that speaks for that things is the blood of heaven. The blood of Jesus Christ is speaking concerning the church of Christ. That the church of Christ is the house of prayer, not the den of robbers. Oh, the heathen sons are speaking against false prophets and teachers, those that tend to take the kingdom. Jehovah by force, Father, restore the kingdom back to your children. Oh, we praise that against the force of darkness. We bless you that that blood is also speaking on behalf of our families today. Oh, speaking against every house of God, coming and God's end strange voices attempting to speak to our lives and the life of our children, our husbands, and the wives to your sons, you over God. That you are overturning, O Lord God, every spirit that struggles, pronouncing of the kingdom of hell against us, O Lord God, and establishing your perfect and righteous judgment concerning us in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you, God Almighty, that the blood of Jesus Christ is speaking on behalf of our nations today. As we commit into your hands, the President of Nations, Senators, Congressmen, the governors of states, mayors, of towns and cities, councilmen and women, all in position of leadership over us, Father Lord. And that blood of Jesus Christ is speaking today. Speaking and reminding them that the, the, the weight of governance of the nations is upon the shoulders of Jesus Christ, that our leaders, Lord God, must surrender the sense, Lord God, to the perfect will of God, concerning children in all of our communities, Lord God. That the love of God will prevail in every situation. That discrimination, special interest groups, Lord God, will not take over our government in the name of Jesus Christ. That disorderly conduct, Lord God, will not take over our government in the name of Jesus Christ. That no other spirit will control the government of the nations, Lord God. That your children will stand on righteous ground to press back against the forces of darkness. They will not be afraid of anything attempting to come against your children, your work God. For you have given us, Father Lord, a voice in our government to defend all of God, your children, in the name of Jesus Christ. They will stand, they are empowered by you to do that which is good, to overturn all of God. It's strong wickedness in our judiciary, in our law enforcement, your work God, in the various departments of government, all of God, to take by the nations, all of God, and restore it to your children, in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not be fearful in the land you have given to us. We come against every evil decrees and policies on government.
government. We overturn all of every evil done. Where am it's coming from? That every evil son that all our government being used against the church of Christ. Father, we lift up a standard against evil today. In the name of Jesus Christ, that your kingdom will prevail in good works. In Jesus' mighty name. Let your children in the government stand on righteous ground. Jehovah God, the foundation of blood for all of God, for the nations of the world. To lift up the banner of Jesus Christ, all the evil son, your love for humanity, your love for humanity, your peace on us in every situation. In the name of Jesus Christ, safety in our families and our communities and our government, Lord God. Your children will not be fearful, they will not be running around from one end of the world to the other. The nations of the world belong to you. Father, arise, Lord God, Rehibit Santa, in your power, in your might, defend your children, Jehovah God. Hold back the voices of the hands of those attempting to come against us, silence their voices, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Confuse them as they are gathered for evil purposes, in the name of Jesus Christ. And let your righteous judgment for the nations of the world prevail in every situation. Jehovah, that your children, Lord God, we find the help they need in the nations, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we come against strangers in our government, those that work with foreign nations to come against their own nations, Lord God. That we are those that we attempt to dedicate their nations, Lord God, to any evil force of darkness. Father, arise this and let them be scattered and brought down by the power of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah, we bless you for what you do in the nations. The nations belong to you. We are the Hebrew center, have a shelter. We are shaking the foundation of evil in our law enforcement and in our judiciary. Jehovah, rather than in center, have a hope of shelter. Let your children arise, Lord God, on the position of leadership in the nations. Your children are truly know you that have a fear of you in their hearts that you do good works on God for all your children in the nations of the world in the name of Jesus Christ that will not oppose discrimination or any special interest group that we cause Father of corporate gods and the spirit of God fathers and mothers only that nations of the world Father and rise in your power your might and do that which you alone will do in the United Nations in the African Union European Union all the unions of the world let uh, Father Lord he will be, be brought down by the power of the living God Father when they gather together in the secret ministry of the prayer of issues related to the nations and rise Lord God and Confuse them in the name of Jesus Christ. Confuse them if they will not listen to the voice of wisdom. Confuse them in the name of Jesus Christ. May them a lasting stop to the rest of the world. Father Lord, if they do not listen to you in the name of Jesus Christ, let your righteous throne all of all God prevail in the nations. We bless it, God. In Jesus' mighty name. And this time we lift up the church of Christ to you, Father Lord, again. We pray for the church that the church is going to march forward. We thank you as spiritual fathers and mothers. We pray that the church will celebrate all the all the sacraments you have ordained in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Jehovah God. Let our children come together. That will be a rich spiritually in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That the first desire, the, 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 the utmost this desire of their hearts, Lord God, we be for the Lord to help the work to enrich the kingdom of God and the spiritually to bring more sources to your kingdom, not to just come because of social networking. Oh God Almighty, that they're not after their bellies, bellies and their own desires, Lord God, but to work for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father. Help us with our fathers and mothers to be, to be faithful to their calling, Jehovah God. Hell, he even said that we have become discouraged, encourage them in the name of Jesus. Christ. Let them return back to their first love. Let them search in your watch, Jehovah God. Now, oh, don't have the Holy Spirit to do the things they need to do in the church. Let the elders and ministers stand up for the Lord and begin to walk diligently in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ. Let no one be slack, oh Lord God, in their offices, Father Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah Rehim and Santa, help them. Empower the church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That we will stand on our right in position and begin to walk for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That your children will be running from one congregation to the other, looking for a place of rest. Jehovah Rehim and Santa, in the name of Jesus Christ, arise today and help us. In the name of Jesus Christ, give peace to our souls, our body, minds, and our human center and spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, touch us this day, renew our minds and help us to see as you see things, oh Lord God, to understand, oh Lord God, your will or oh, oh, your church. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the church, oh Lord God, continue, oh Lord God, to support the mission work, oh Lord. Those that have gone ahead of us into the into the nations, we bless you, oh Lord God. Our most souls have been brought into your kingdom every day. Jehovah, we bless you for the persecuted church, oh Lord God. Oh, we hear that those that are particular are blessed and we inherit your kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, this time we commit unto your hands the sick wherever they are. Father, send for your word to heal in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch them, Father, from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. Oh, flush up every evil deposit, every evil deposit that any man has brought into our body. Every year, every year, every evil seed sown in our feet, Jehovah God. Let them be approved by the power of the living God. Father, you are God and ever we bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any victory that will take space, Lord God, that will not bring anything good. Let it be cursed this day by the power of the living God. Let it be uprooted in the mighty name of 
Jesus Christ who has present to you even right now. Your children looking up to you for the blessing of the womb. Send forth your word. Touch them. Touch the wolves of the daughter. Touch their husbands and they will impregnate their wives and the wives will carry them to food them. We come against affliction. We against our bump babies in their mother's wombs. Jehovah God, we lift up and stand against the enemy. We come against the spirit of witchcraft and evil. We come against you, you familiar spirit. We come against you, as oh God, and everything erected against the children of God. Come down by the power of the living God. Father, we renounce every cause in the name of Jesus Christ at the point of delivery. Be there to help your daughter to bring for their babies into this world. We bless you, our children that will be dedicated to you. Jehovah God, we thank you today. You make situations spiritual in our lives. We are passing through different situations in our families, Father Lord. In the name of Heaven, Santa Habashenda. Help us in our hopes, help us in our marriages, Son of God. That husbands and wives, Lord God, come to be united in only matrimony and in ministry work. That simply to be united that children of one family, children of one God, children of one community in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone attempting to use our children for evil purposes, let them fall down by the power of the living God. Let them never be able to rise and even even until they repent of their evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Those bringing drugs into our communities, using children and sex trade and child labor. Bring them down by your mighty power, Jehovah God. Those who do children to gang and tell them to let me brought down by the power of the living God. Jehovah, we are praying for children that have run away from their families, children that they are to break the way that they will return back home in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, for the flush of evil from all of our institutions in the name of Jesus Christ. Within our families, we come against anyone trying for uh, evil oracles, Lord God. In our center, I'm calling the members of their families into their oracles. If you are never happen in the name of Jesus Christ, they cannot call our spirit or the spirit of our loved ones into those evil oracles in the name of Jesus Christ. We are the oracles of the living God. So we speak against every evil oracle. Yet the word of the living God today concerning us, you do not prevail against us. We come against you. Oh, God is our helper. Remember, Shane, that we confuse you today. In the name of Jesus Christ, you comfort your own spirit when you attend to call our names and the names of our loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus Christ into your evil gathering. We come against those evil strength wherever they are. The fire of the Holy Spirit descend upon them this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we rebuke anything coming out from the ocean, the lakes, the mountains, all over the streets, oh Lord God. We come against you, evil spirit. We pull you down by the power of the living God. You have no portion with us. We do not know you cannot command us. Yet the voice of God concerning us this day be silent in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against you, spirit come, coming out from the forest, coming out from the desert. We come against you by the power of the living God. You cannot command us. You cannot do anything against us. Yet the word of God concerning us in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak on you, you spirit in the ground. We trample upon you this day in the name of Jesus Christ. For every man of you tread upon, we be our inheritance. You will, you cannot command us. We come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak to you, you spirit in the air. Yet the word of God concerning us today, we are blessed. You are caused, and that's why you are in the air. You have no foundation. We have no foundation. We have no portion with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You cannot distract us from our like children. We curse you this day in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak to you this day. You spirit use invoke in animals. Yet the word of God comes on us. As you make contact to anything that belongs to us, you must turn it around to blessing and the word of God will prevail in our situation. See in the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot return back to your evil. You are those who send you on evil errands because you will turn around and obey God concerning us in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything used and the monitor guided against us. Remember my that we spirit that we invoke today. We confuse the power of the living God that those things will no longer work in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah restore to us and the pharmacy that belong to us. You are God and ever we bow down our heads to you this day. We come against evil within the house of God in the name of Jesus Christ as we go into our local assemblies, protect us and our families in Jesus' mighty name. Protect us from evil altars within the house of God. Father, let them be scattered and no longer let them be shaking that one should be shaking that within the house of God. That one we stand with remain in Jesus' mighty name. We bless you this day. You are being our God and helper. You have helped us this day from our belt and flowing springs of living waters. Father, we lack nothing good for you are God and ever. Receive a clap offering for what you have done for us today. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. The Lord reigns. Blessed be our God. May the rock of our salvation be exalted. May God be exalted in our lives today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are blessed and cannot be cursed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.